over fluorinated compounds contaminate drinking water for 5.2 million Americans in 63 areas, 52 public water systems in 33 states, and the water for 80,000 people in security wide field and fountain. In the wide field study area, lung cancers were 66% higher, kidney cancers were 17% higher, and bladder cancers were 34% higher than average for El Paso County. The training area for Peterson Air Force Base is right on the banks of the East Fork of Sand Creek, which flows directly downstream to Fountain Creek. Fountain Creek is the main recharge source for the wide field aquifer. These flyovers show the course of the creek down to the aquifer. PFCs are not regulated by the Safe Drinking Water Act, so water providers are not required to routinely sample for or remove PFCs from drinking water. The EPA advisory says PFCs cause developmental damage to fetuses during pregnancy, low birth weight, accelerated puberty, distorted bones, kidney, bladder, and testicular cancer, liver tissue damage, impaired production of antibodies and cholesterol changes. This map was published by the local authorities and shows the general areas where PFCs were found in the wells and the levels of the toxins. In 12 to 15 year olds, PFCs cause 60% increase in ADHD. One known source of PFCs is the firefighting foam used at Peterson Air Force Base. It's used to fight fuel fires. The profile of specific perfluorinated compounds is exactly that found in firefighting foam. This superimposition of the wide field aquifer map over a satellite photo shows just how narrow and shallow the aquifer is. This is another representation of the wells that were tested and found to contain PFCs and in which areas. Firefighting foam is not the only source of PFCs. The 206 samples with PFCs found here are more than any other state. 
but the CDC says PFCs have been found in more than 98% of Americans, even in umbilical cord blood and breast milk. It's expected to stay in the environment for thousands of years. The National Toxicology Program found in 2015 that the EPA's presumed safe level of PFCs is too high by a factor of 1,300, but they only lowered this standard from 400 parts per trillion to 70 parts per trillion. In plastics manufacturing, PFCs are used, also phthalates, polyvinyl chloride, dioxin, and styrene. These are all used in the manufacture of vinyl products, floor tiles, upholstery, shower curtains, cables, garden hoses, rain gear, car parts and interiors, packaging film, insulation for wire and cable, some food containers, lots of toys, medical devices, nail polish and cosmetics, insecticides, adhesives, paints, sealants, various car care products, vinyl flooring, and some other personal care products. also sitting beside surface streams upstream from this aquifer are a variety of junkyards asphalt and concrete and construction sites sources of hydrogen sulfide mercury PAHs benzene arsenic cadmium chromium lead variety of heavy metals the Drake coal-fired power plant sits on the banks of Fountain Creek It's a source of lead and other heavy metals which have already been found in Garden Valley. There are several sewage treatment plants on the banks of Fountain Creek, Sand Creek, Monument Creek. Sewage treatment plants are a source of a wide variety of chemicals antibiotics, hormones, steroids, bacteria, viruses, protozoa. Sewage treatment effluents put back into the creeks and rivers and streams are a source of a wide variety of pharmaceutical drugs. Hormones from birth control pills are a common chemical found after sewage treatment and they cause endocrine disruption, infertility, cancers, endometriosis, erectile dysfunction, pelvic inflammatory disease, depression, and early onset menses. 
60,000 chemicals are exempt from the law that requires manufacturers to give the EPA information necessary to assess a new chemical's safety. 2,000 new chemicals are introduced every year in the U.S., but the EPA has only banned five chemicals in 40 years. The EPA has ignored the data linking PFCs to four types of cancers or tumors mammary, testicular, pancreatic, and liver. According to the agency's own standardized method for assessing the cancer potential of a chemical, the Teflon chemicals of PFCs fall squarely in the range of a likely human carcinogen. DuPont funded a laboratory study that found that mammary tumor rates significantly increased in animals dosed with PFCs, with rates more than doubling in the high-dose group. The EPA has discounted this significant finding. The EPA's own science advisory panel instructed the agency to consider testicular cancer from laboratory studies of PFCs that are known to cause health harms. The EPA chose to ignore the panel's advice. The EPA also ignored its own science advisory panel, which specifically instructed the agency to consider pancreatic cancer from laboratory studies relevant to humans for chemicals like PFCs. A series of industrial studies show that PFCs suppress the immune system, creating increased risks for developing and dying from infectious disease. Every dose of PFCs tested thus far has been shown to suppress the immune system. There is no known safe dose. PFCs are widely used to fight petroleum fires in stain master and scotch guard fabric and carpet coatings and in plastics manufacturing. All 32 of the Security Water and Sanitation District's municipal wells are contaminated with PFCs at levels exceeding an EPA health advisory limit of 70 parts per trillion.